Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away.
pressure just keep adding. Then we just keep adding fuck. We was living fast as fuck. Just don't get me high enough. All these people always lying about something. Sorry, I'm so fly, so what? Fuck, I'm gonna be sorry for I was town heroes. I'm a hometown hero. Guys, welcome back. I am so excited right now. I'm gonna talk to you guys about what's been going on in my life as of recently. Because 2024, I do want to be in front of the camera, talk more, be more vulnerable. You know, have that like this more instead of like voiceovers. I'm so nervous. So I have some time before the call. As you guys know, I used to work with Outfleet and unfortunately I'm not no longer working with them. Nothing bad happened or anything. It's just there's a lot of changes going on within Outfleet. And so they just let go of a lot of their athletes. It seems like they kept like people that's been with them like the longest and like really ride or die for them. And I only had been with them for a couple of months. Even Christian made a video about it of like why he was letting people go and stuff like that. But yeah, I always will love them, will support them. People when I met them were so nice and genuine like people. I was so sad when I heard about the changes happening and you know as an influencer or a content creator you know you get paid through your sponsors. Unfortunately that will no longer be happening with alpha leads and i'm sure you guys have seen in my bio that the code is no longer there but it's just crazy how like the timing of things the timing of things just work this is why like i'm such a firm believer in everything happens for a reason everything happens in the timing that it's supposed to happen because literally as soon as this happened mind you i was so sad about my partnership ending and i'm like oh my god like what am i gonna do crazy how like you could sit there and just be sad about something about a door closing and then god is like okay yeah i'm closing this door for you and you don't like it but just know that i'm giving you something way better i mean but it's yeah i don't know ah! so i'm so excited for me i was the type of content creator that like companies would come they'd say hey we're paying you this amount for this amount of deliverables for like three months four months and then and then that would be like it and you guys know on my channel like i've made so many ads for so many companies uh, but i feel like now in the new year i do want to be with a brand and stick to it and kind of have that like family feel so yeah I'm gonna get you guys to guess down below which brand it is. You guys know I've worked with Alphalet, I've worked- And it's crazy too because I feel like I, in the past year, my content has shifted a lot, especially on Instagram. You guys, those who've been following me for a long time, you know that I used to post more like fashion. I literally went from working with Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, Woohoo, White Fogs, like so many clothing companies to switching over to more fitness brands. and that's how I like it and I, I'm gonna keep it that way or after this clothing one I have another sponsorship that I'm really looking forward to as well so yeah listen if you're a negative Nelly take it over there okay we don't want that here so bye restocked and new stuff from lush so we're just gonna have a nice relaxing evening because i'm so tired why is my dog crying why are you crying anyways in terms of books and i also just bought a bathtub tray that i'm actually really excited to use in terms of books i don't really know what i'm gonna read Let's see what's the aesthetic because i'm thinking maybe this or just like read on my kindle 
we'll see the vibe a sample of a massage bar i really don't know which one i'm gonna use because this one is more for like sore muscles and this one i think is just like a normal massage moisturizing bar will you stop crying ah every day cry 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 he's coming back why are you crying a lot of bath bombs these oil thingies i actually didn't know you could put these butter wouldn't melt aroma bath like i didn't know you could put these on the candle warmers i'm excited to try this one i got a lot of like sleepy bedtime bath bombs post workout what how many bath bombs i got one two three four five six bath bombs a tray which is so cute this is my first tray the only thing i don't really like is this thing i don't know they could have just like done black or something a little bit more aesthetic put everything together but enjoy magnesium bath bomb was really really good like really good skincare routine read a book and that's it skin is skinning except for that redness right there but i just finished reading this book mind you this book bro this book was so cute like i'm reading god of malice this is how the book ends i love her to the point of madness i'm definitely reading the second one is it five star because i know people don't like it on goodreads it's five star for me. No, I'll, I'll give it four. I'll give it four. Rena Kent, you did something to me. She is probably by far my favorite. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys about the books that I read this month. February. This was my fifth book. Juicy. Before I read this God of Malice book, I looked at it on Goodreads. The reviews of people talking about it were like really, really bad. And that's what made me want to read it. I have found that when people really don't like a book because it's so unhinged and, be and because it's so like nasty, that is what I'm reading. That is what I, I, I like. I try my best to explain it or explain all the books that I've read without ruining it. Um, so God of Malice is about a girl in college and <laughs> passes a hold on. And her friend passes away, right? And she gets like really depressed and upset about it. And she's about to like off herself. And then she ends up meeting this guy there. 
Again, I don't know how to talk about it without ruining it. But she just meets this guy who is completely unhinged. And you guys, this is how I like my fictional men. Don't give a f possessive. The trigger warning for this, I read it, I was like, mm-hmm, that's the type of shit I like. <laughs> this is why I have this right here. This, you had me a trigger warning. You will like it. It's very, very spicy. If you're the girlies that like, you know, <laughs> completely unhinged men, you will like this book. And, 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 like, spice. I read Credence. This is what the cover looks like. It's about a girl whose parents pass away and she goes and lives with her step uncle who has two sons. So I'm at, I'm 65% into this book. I couldn't finish it. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I could not finish this book because I am a spicy reader, but anything that has to do with like fake incest, mm, not for me, sorry. I tried to get into it, could not get into it. I just can't, like, I give it like, <laughs> one star not even not even <laughs> the next book which i absolutely loved which was so cute was the ritual this is what it looks like i'm not going to talk about it because i want you guys to read it it is spicy it's a college romance this girl minds her business and this guy is like they're like in this lord's group or whatever and they have to like follow the high people they assign him to her and he's like obsessed with her and blah, 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 blah. you know i don't want to talk about it too much also this is my first like reviews on youtube like with books so i don't know comment down below how you guys want me to talk about them because of reading I, as you can see i have really gotten back into reading ever since getting my kindle i cannot put this thing down for the life of me and i just keep reading books other book that i read was hooked this is what it looks like so hooked is kind of like a restory telling of peter pan the only thing that i didn't like about this was i went in thinking it was actually a like a retelling of peter pan because i'm very familiar with the peter pan story and i love peter pan especially like i'm pretty sure peter pan like the actor was my first like white boy love interest as a kid so going into it like i said i thought it was gonna have like the characters and maybe like some spice retelling but she literally just took the words of and the guy she kind of like falls in love with his name is hook so that's the only thing so if you're gonna read it expecting it to be about like peter pan and stuff like that that's not what you're gonna get but you are going to get spice this is what it looks like she wrote this book very very well I will give her that the way she wrote about this guy hook i was like oh my god i have never met a man so smooth she wrote this guy with so much frizz i was like it was cheesy but i was like damn and you know who like i pictured perfectly in my mind his face and that's what makes us you know who i also kind of imagine that show once upon a time funny because this guy is actually the guy that plays hook so i go back and forth with thinking about him <laughs> the next one that i read this month was that sick love i feel like i really wanted to get into this book but you know as somebody who is i'm a christian i feel bad like kind of as it is like reading smut this book just had too many bible verses in it for me to like you know mix with smut i'm just like i can't so it's about this girl this catholic girl who's like innocent virgin has a stalker mind you there wasn't even a build up into the stalker like it was just like oh i have a stalker okay versus like hunting adeline there was like actual build up and like character development like there was you know hires him to like ruin her and that's how it starts off it starts off as a job and then ends up falling in love with her like he's showing her like you know 
how bad the world is and to get feed into her desires they're saying scripture while they're doing it i'm like mm, okay <laughs> i tried to read this book does it hurt because everybody is also like raving about this book but personally so it's about this girl who like steals people's identities and she ends up like i'm only see that's the thing i'm only 10 percent into the book and personally i don't really like it when love interests hook up really fast like i want to build up or unless maybe i was just like skimming through and maybe that's not actually the case but i read it like like i said 10 percent didn't really get into it to be honest but i will finish it i'm 20 percent into this book called bride you know i'm somebody that also reads about like vampires werewolves in that like realm two things two things this book the author this is their first time writing a book about like this world personally i don't think she wrote it good and there's no male pov personally when i'm reading about like vampires and werewolves i want to read about the guy's pov i want to read how he's losing his shit how crazy he is about the girl like i want to read about everything not just her pov and i feel like people only really got excited about this because they read about nodding in the book i'm just like what is the excitement about nodding like literally dogs do it all the time by accident the setup the idea could have been really good because it's like enemies to lovers arranged marriage but it just like i don't know it just wasn't really that good and mind you i have read quite a few books on arranged marriages love interests faded mates it just wasn't really giving but anyways the next books that i'm going to read i do want to finish haunting at Ad uh, hunting adelaide or is it hunting adeline adelaide adelaide <laughs> corrupt by pen Penelope Douglas is really good. Beneath the Mask series, I hear that one is really good. There are No Saints, King of Wrath, King of Battle and Blood, Li What Lies Beyond the Veil. I really don't know what book I'm gonna read next, but but the way like God of Malice had me, I might read the second one of that one. But hold on, let me just read you some of my clippings, just to like give you an idea. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna read out a scene, he says, okay? I wanna shoot everyone who dares to look in your direction or cause you pain. I wanna bathe in their blood and throw their insides at your feet. I wanna you there to in their blood to stake a claim. You, prob you would probably bolt if I said this to you directly, so I won't. I'll just keep owning you over and over until you can no, lo no longer think of leaving me. I'll be your shadow so no one dares to hurt you. Ms. Rabbit has fainted. Listen, the way I said comment down below if you guys have read any of the books that I read for February. Um, we are almost done for February. It's the 22nd today. So... I do have it in me to read another like I could finish if a, one of these books are really good I could literally finish it in like two three days to end the month but I don't know I don't know which one to start with so let me know in the comments below hello I got a new camera you guys these people were playing with me though because I went to Henry's and I got so excited about the camera these people told me that I was super helpful though he told me, oh yeah, they don't have it available in the black. Please tell me why. I walked all the way back home. Well, it wasn't all the way. It was like 15 minutes. I walked back home. I was like contemplating to get a refund, to go back, get a refund, then go to Best Buy, then get the camera. I was feeling very motivated because I was editing as well. And then as soon as I finished editing, the guy calls me from Henry's and he's like, oh, they actually do have it in the black. So I had to walk all the way there and then walk all the way back. But it was worth it. So, I got the Sony ZV-E10. I want to do an unboxing, like, on my phone for, like, my story, you know, for, like, the aesthetic or, like, TikTok because I've seen some people do it on TikTok and I'm, you know, I'm going <laughs> to be influencer 2024, more influencing, okay? And the reason why I wanted to get a new camera is because this camera that I'm using is the Sony, Sony 
ZV-1. Love this camera so much. This camera for the past year has been really good for me. Super compact, easy. Um, the only thing is like the quality sometimes I feel like I could do so much better. I can change the lens and the quality will be so much better which is what I'm looking forward to. So I got, it comes with a lens but I got a wide lens which I feel like it's gonna look so good. I'm gonna try, I have an SD card here so I'm gonna try to like show you guys and show what each lens look like look at her look at that so sorry i had to change my battery for that one another reason why i wanted to get another camera the, as much as i love how compact this camera is the battery just doesn't last long and it overheats and this is what the new camera looks like I can't see really until I go into my camera and edit, but I'm gonna switch. So this is with the lens that it comes with. My, ha my hand is even tired, which is the, I don't even know how to read this. Whatever lens that this comes with, but I'm gonna show you um, the lens that I'm more excited about, which is the 10 to 20 millimeter. So I'm going to put it on, switch it, hold on, I'll be back. This is the wide angle lens. Like I just feel like you can see so much more and um, this is so weird. I'm not, I am obsessed with the wide, with, I can't even speak, I'm so excited. So this is the wide angle. Comment down below. Yeah, I just feel like this looks so much better. Like you can see so much more, but um yeah i don't know comment down below which one you guys think in terms of crispness crispness and like how good it looks i won't know until i go into my computer and then like actually see it on my screen so yeah i don't know it feels good but it's big compared to that one i'm so used to that one being so like digital camera size pocket like easy in my purse so i do think that this will be a great one for like my still workouts and having that quality and then that one i'll use for more like going out if i don't if i have a small purse you know what i mean type of content this one that i used to have this was like back in like three years ago I think I'm even gonna sell this one because I I haven't even touched this camera. I think I got this one for like $800. This one was not cheap. The camera itself, the body is the same price as this camera. What is expensive is the lens. The wide angle was I think like $800. Body and with the this lens that it comes with was $9.99. I'm excited. Try something new. But I do think gym workouts I'm gonna do on this camera. That camera will be, like I said, just out and about. That's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I will see you guys in... I don't know. I turned to a addict. I brought me a paddock. I brought her a baby one. Yeah. I brought me a baby that came with two doors. Yeah, that's the Mercedes one. Sure. I stay with the baddest, I'm counting the cabbage while making my lady call. Yes. I brought a G-Wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yes. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought the four door, had to get ready for four. I got static in my city, who fucking with me? Pull up with this 30 and this chopper, hold a 50. And I heard that nigga make it. That's the rest of the race. Spray his car, spray the window.
Versace, my bitch. I got on that tissue, I even had a change. I turned to a attic, I bought me a paddock, I bought her a baby one walk. Yeah, I bought me a baby back and came with the doors. Yeah, that's a Mercedes. I stay with the baddest and count the cabbage while making my lady go I brought a G Wagon, I see with some rappers, that's why I'm brought the G Wagon. Yeah, we brought the full door, we had to get ready for the door. Yeah, I ain't fuck a bitch so long, I do it in a Honda Ghost. I had to count my money to go to the bottom I just took that bitch and shot the fuck behind me. So I had to get all my niggas up on I had to get on my hold. I had to take 12 right on my mouth, drop it like my family stole. They say like my birthday brain, cause I'm only known to the floor. Yeah, I just know they be watching, yeah, yeah, I just know they be watching. Watch, watch. Uh, all these hoes love me. I am such a slimy guy, nigga do not trust me, baby I'm a bust you, wait before you bust me, you should have a trust me, girl you got all of me. In this beef no bate, no I do not eat steak, all I eat is this place. If I die with the food in the face of my wrist, still in the hill, all in my bitch, that's it, in my crib and you know I'm gonna shit. I made a million, you know I'm gonna miss it, I made a million, I turned to an addict, I brought me a paddock, I brought her a baby one, yeah, I brought me a baby back and came with the doors, yeah that's what I said to me. I brought a G wagon, I shit with some rappers, that's why I be raising you at. Yeah, we brought the full door, had to get ready for the door. Yeah, I ain't fuck a bitch so long, I do it in a Honda Accord. Wow. I had to count my money on the Honda Accord. Yeah, I just took that bitch and shot me fuck behind me stores. Fuck behind me stores. You know that I got to get real, fuck behind me stores. Sure. Stores. You know that I got to be real, up behind the stores, sure.